Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is Ida and uh, today I am making a weekly spread, um, a really easy one. It's not too complicated, it's not complicated at all actually. It's, uh, I think it's the easiest one that you could possibly make. It's just a line and the three first letters of the name of the day of the week. And of course the date, that's about it. So uh, uh, it's Wednesday today, so obviously I've already done Monday and Tuesday, but I've been too lazy to put up the entire week. So that's what I'm gonna do now. So if you wanna sit down and watch or take your bullet journal and do it with me, then Come on and do it, and if you just want to sit down, back, relax and watch because you got nothing else to do, then then you do that. So, anybody who watches are... That's awesome. That's great. If you like it, then give it a thumbs up, please, and subscribe to my channel. I'll be very happy for everyone who does that. Now, let's get to business. Let's see. We are going to... Um, let's get it out of the way first and foremost. Let's see, we're gonna take this Tombow Fudnosuke uh, hard tip uh, brush pen and we're gonna count nine squares, not uh, dots but uh, squares uh, or grids or whatever they're called. I, I take nine on between each one. Yeah, and it's real time in case I forgot to say that. It's real time, so it, nothing's gonna be sp sped up anything. It's gonna be, it's gonna take the time that it takes or whatever I'm supposed to say. I don't know the English. I thought I was fluent in English, but um, I learn more and more that I'm not m while I'm doing these videos. Oh no, I should have taken a ruler. I need something to support my hand. That was the most horrible line I've ever made in my entire life. Let's see if it gets any better on this side when I don't let's when I don't have anything in the way. Let's check it out. Yeah, it's going a little bit better when I don't have anything in the way. Let's see. Now I don't have to count I just see on the other side where I should draw the line and this last one is the box with the notes so I'm gonna make that all the way down let's just whoa I'm not exactly Amanda Rachel so my lines are a little bit more wobbly than hers not just a little bit more but a lot more that one was really, oh my god, okay, um, let's see, try and get it as straight as possible, oh god, I should just keep my mouth shut, I think, <laughs> okay, well, you, you get the picture, right, I should have used a ruler, but the ruler tends to destroy the the pens or the markers, so I don't. I'm not too happy about using rulers. Okay, now we're gonna. Yeah, oh, of course we're gonna have to. It's Wednesday today, so. Let's see, and then Thursday. 
it saves a lot of time just to write the three first uh, letters of the day of the week. And as you obviously can see, I am, I am not doing calligraphy because I just, I just simply <laughs> don't have the skills to, to, do, to do it. So that's why there's no fancy writing. Okay, let's see. We have the green one there and the purple one there. So we're gonna do the purple. Let's see. Uh, just gonna count and so they get approximately on the same place and then here let's do that here no wait a minute no I was supposed to. oh okay Ugh, but anyway Let's check it out here. And this is a uh, purple type uh, color 623. And the next one is a beautiful green one, uh, 243 or 243. Uh, it's the most beautiful green I've ever seen actually, so. And my colors for uh, August are um, purple and this green and the, this purple. So, or purple and green in, ge in general for August. So, maybe I should have a green one here and white notes. And just write notes in a green little section. That should do the trick. What's so great about these tumbos is that you can, if you have a thin layer, it's light. If you have a thick layer, it's darker. Right? You can you can control the colors. If you watch this Saturday, if you take a, you see that it's almost like there's two different colors, but it's just this one that's it's layers, layers. So, yeah, but I can't do it too much. Then it will bleed through because my crappy Bujo is just really not not a very good brand. So that's no, it's not. Uh, I'm gonna wait until the ink has dried. But while we're waiting, I'm gonna take a micron zero point three. And uh, let's see here, breakfast, lunch, dinner, snacks. And breakfast, lunch, dinner, and snacks. I like to have a food log because I tend to not be Oh god, I need to move these things or else I'll never be able to draw a straight line again. How many? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then one, two, three. Oh, one, two, three, four. Here, and is it here? It's right here. So this is a really quick way to. Uh, you could have been done by now if you didn't use any colors for the spread and just if you did it in just black and white. 
then you could have been done by now. But I would wanted to take a food log, food log uh, with, uh, and then I'm gonna use the zero zero point one to write the B L D S, and that is breakfast, lunch, dinner, snacks. Breakfast, lunch, dinner, snacks, and breakfast, lunch, dinner, snacks. Breakfast, lunch, dinner, and snacks. Breakfast, lunch, dinner and snacks. Okay, now I do believe the ink has dried enough to take the tambo food no suke, not for the nauske, as many say, as everyone says. I'm not gonna mention any names, but everybody says tambo food nauske, and that is wrong. It's tambo food no suke. So Quit butchering the Japanese language. It's Fuden no Suke, not Fuden Auske. It's Fuden no Suke. Fuden no Suke. How hard can it be? Fuden no Suke, not Nauske. You can see for yourself it says Fuden no Suke, not Fuden Auske. Fuden no Suke. You can read, can't you? Yeah, it's Fuden no Suke. It's not that difficult to pronounce. It's Fuden no Suke. Five. Oh, that was very thin. Five, six, seven, eight, and nine. So this is this is the week, first full week in August. It's week thirty-two of the year, and it's so I've written that on top there, uh, with a micron zero point three, and then it's Monday third to. Sunday the 9th, so that's it. And then we're going to write notes here. Um, for the next week spread, I'm going to try to post it on Saturday or Sunday and um, do a little more. I think I'm going to make a Dutch store for next week. Or I don't think I'm going to make a Dutch store. I know I'm going to make a Dutch store for next week. So, so if you want to... This is the result. Those two were already there, but uh, and it's written in Norwegian, so of course you can't understand it if you're not from Scandinavia. But uh, this is the it's, it's a very easy setup, as you obviously can see. So it's not. And in September, I'm I was supposed to do it in August, but I had just enough pages left to do one more month so in uh, september i am moving into this bujo it's just a horrible quality as the as the one i have now but isn't it beautiful yes i can't wait to move into that one but that was it from me thank you very much if you liked it, then as I said, please give it a thumbs up. Please do, please, please, please. And uh, consider subscribing to my channel if you love stationery and want to see more of these videos. And you can see of some of the previous videos if you want to see something of what I'm about. And uh, have a nice day and stay healthy and stay safe. And I hope you have a lovely day. It's about almost 2.30 p.m. here now and uh, I'm gonna have some lunch. Bye bye!